Let's walk over here. Uh, you got car clubs showing up, but you got all these people here. The student services building. Uh, we were just inside the Griffin Center where you're still welcome to sign the big birthday card, uh, part of the Guinness Book of World Records if they can get more than 1,460 signatures in an hour. Meanwhile, uh, one of the cool things, any nurses here? Anybody know any nurses? Anyone from the nursing staff? Anyone? You're live on Good Morning San Diego. Good morning, San Diego. What's your name? My name is LaDonna. LaDonna, are you a nurse? I'm a nursing student. Oh, see, a student. They, they, how, how great is this facility here? It's probably one of the best in the state. It really is. I went through it a little while, and they have those, uh, they're not dummies, because <laughs> nobody's a dummy in there, but they're yeah. mannequins. Yeah. Yes, they even, they blink their eyes, they breathe just like a normal person, they have pulses, just about anything you can imagine they can do. Yeah, it's amazing. And just and about any dream that you have, you can do here at Grossmont College before you go on to a four-year university. All right, let's talk weather this morning. Some scattered showers, a little breezy, a wind advisory for the coast and inland valleys. A uh, winter storm warning for the mountains and the deserts until 2 o'clock this afternoon. Strong wind gusts, 50 miles per hour. Currently, we're going to change a picture, and uh, we're even getting some strong wind gusts along the coast here near Lindbergh Field. So the winter storm warning continues till 2 this afternoon, and a wind advisory for the coast and valleys. But we're going to see some snow, that precipitation that's left over turning to snow, uh, down to 3,500 feet. This has been a strong storm that pushed through since yesterday. Uh, there was another one on Wednesday, but definitely if you want to beat it all, if you want to come out here to Grossmont College, where inside, right now they are getting ready for this dedication ceremony. Sonny Cook is over there, um, and we're going to find out from her exactly how important this is. First, I want to go back 50 years ago to what San Diego was like, to what the rest of the nation was like when Grossmont College got started. Take a look. And so, my fellow Americans, ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country. 1961, JFK was president, and Hi-Fi Radio... See how easy, how inexpensive it is to own RCA customized high fidelity. And a talking horse were all the rage. I'm Mr. Ed. It was the year Grossmont College opened its doors. Our college opened in 1961, and we actually opened on a high school campus. So after the high school kids went off campus, then in the afternoon the college students came to campus. The campus was built on 134 acres on a unique mesa in El Cajon, near La Mesa, but overlooking Santee, a perfect place to attract students from all around. When State Route 125 was completed, the campus expanded further, thanks to a bond measure passed by voters. In 2002, uh, East County voters passed a Proposition R bond for $207 million. And those dollars were um, shared between two campuses, Grossmont and Cuyamaca campus. And we have touched almost every building on this campus with those dollars, and we have built some five new buildings. So it's incredible. The expansion gives the 20,000 students who attend classes here one of the most high-tech campuses in California, especially here. And if you're thinking about a career in nursing, you could not enter a better, more high-tech facility than the nursing program right here at Grossmont College. Our program is the largest in um, Southern California, and we graduate, I think it's about 100 nurses a year. Just check out these mannequins. They're no dummies. And you'll look at some of those mannequins. They're $100,000 each. Each one of them responds just like a patient would. So they cough, they respond to medications. If you put one medication in, they will do exactly the same body response that a patient would do. Yeah, you're looking a lot better. I feel pretty good, too. Better nurses, better students, better chance at a career, and all at a fraction of the cost of bigger campuses for the first two years of college life. By the time you do two years, you've maybe spent $2,000 on the tuition and fees as opposed to 
ten, twenty thousand dollars a year, as you might in uh, an out-of-state or a private institution or even UCs now. Through innovation and improvements, Grossmont College continues to give students what they need to succeed. And after half a century, they're just getting started. In 50 years, I want us to be just as fabulous, but to serve more students in exactly the same exceptional way that we've been doing for 50 years. Now, all the students and all the faculty, the chancellor, and of course the president of the college, Sonny Cook, is getting ready for the big celebration they're going to actually uh, dedicate uh, not only the last 50 years, but the next 50 years. Sonny, what, are you, what is your big hope now? Uh, first of all, for today's celebration. Our big hope is that the sun will come out shortly, and you're in charge of that. <laughs> I got and that, that covered. And that we have the community come out and really celebrate this day with us, because we've invited the whole community to come out and experience what college can be all about. There's also a couple of new buildings that you're dedicating. Yes, we're in the Student Administrative Services Building, and then we have the Griffin Center, which is our student center that we opened in January, December, and this is our grand opening ceremony for those two buildings. This is part of the lineage of the, uh, the you know, total of five new buildings, really, uh, including the nursing center, which is, you know, I just talked to the nursing students, they're just uh, infatuated. They say this is really the best. Uh, one of the best in the entire country. We, we do. We have a very, very high-tech and fabulous uh, set of buildings. We always have more needs, but these are, we feel very, very fortunate to have the buildings that we have to serve our students. All right. Let me see if we can do this. Uh, we'll get the chancellor. Are we able to get everybody to say happy birthday? You bet. Okay, go ahead. Let's see. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Can we all say happy birthday? Are you ready? That sounded, give yourselves a nice round of applause. <laughs> Good job. Happy birthday. 50 yeah, happy years. Happy birthday. It's a big milestone. Doesn't look a day old for 40, I think. <laughs> All right. Thanks so much, Dave Scott. You're welcome.